What is going on guys, Coach Joe. In this video, we're gonna be talking about my favorite exercises for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and how I would train for strength, specifically when it comes to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So let's get to it. All right, guys, what is going on? Coach Joe here at the Lions Den located in Hatfield, PA, right off of Route 309. So if you're ever in the area, come check out the gym. We love and we get visitors. So what I get asked all the time is, one, do you still do BJJ? And the answer is yes. I'll be doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu till the day that I die. Uh, it all depends on my strongman schedule though. So I do have a competition coming up for strongman. So right now, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is probably just gonna be one to two days per week uh, at most while I focus on the strongman comp. And then once the strongman comp is over, I'll increase that frequency just because I need to put my main focus into my strongman training, which that could be another video that I make down the road on how I manage to balance the strength, training, the conditioning, and the jujitsu uh, all together. But in this video, getting right to the point, we're gonna be talking about how I would train for strength when it comes to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And I kind of break it up into some categories because there are so many exercises, but I'm gonna give you guys the basis of which ones I would probably use the most. All right, so breaking up with the first category, I'm gonna go with anything that falls under push, okay? So we're thinking any of the, the, the muscles that we're pushing with. Uh, so the first thing that stands out for me is gonna be some sort of bench press variation. Uh, now, if people have bad shoulders or maybe their wrists or, or anything are banged up from jujitsu, uh, I would probably put them on a Swiss bar or a football bar, or maybe a multi-grip bar, just to play around with the different grips and it maybe helps uh, with any shoulder problems that they have. But I am a fan of bench pressing or uh, benching variations for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Uh, typically for me, I probably would do um, either a close grip bench or a multi-grip bar bench or Swiss bar. Uh, and then I would also probably do a lot of floor uh, pressing and benching just because you do find yourself on the ground uh, in that same uh, position where you're starting with your triceps on the ground and you're pushing somebody off or an opponent off. Uh, so it just seems like it would transfer over to the sport a little bit better and really developing uh, the triceps uh, in that range of motion. Uh, when it comes to the shoulders with, with pressing, uh, basically I still would like you know, uh, overhead press, uh, but I am a huge fan of push pressing. So I do like push pressing. I think it's a little bit more athletic than a typical strict press. Uh, and it's probably gonna be a little bit more practical uh, for the sport of jiu-jitsu because it is a moving sport. You know, when you look at takedowns or pushing people off of you, it's always moving and it's very dynamic. Uh, so the push press would be a little bit more in favor for me just because it's a more dynamic of a lift. All right, so the second category of movements is going to be pull variations. Uh, so we're gonna just answer the question that I get asked all the time is should Brazilian Jiu Jitsu athletes be doing deadlifts? And to be honest with you, I think deadlifts are fine for BJJ athletes. Uh, however, I do think that trap bar deadlifts are just easier for people to grasp, understand, and get right to work with. So uh, for me as a coach, I think I would probably gear them more towards trap bar deadlifts, however, I think there are tons of different deadlift variations that can be used. I think conventional deadlifts are fine, um, but just for the sake of keeping it simple, I would probably use trap bar deadlifts. One other nice little perk is if you have a reverse hyper, you can use that to also strengthen the same muscles that are used in deadlifts. Uh, if you have a back tweak going on or you're just trying to minimize fatigue, a reverse hyper will strengthen the movements that a deadlift will uh, without having a ton of compression on the spine. So if you wanna throw that in on your training, you can do that as well. Now from there, I I would probably go with rowing variations. Okay, we, we wanna have a really strong back and I feel like rows are just a great way to do that. There's tons of different variations and the nice thing is you can play with a bunch of different uh, ones to kind of see which ones you like and don't like. Uh, but I think if I was doing BJJ, I would be doing some sort of row variations and I have a whole video on row variations you can check out right here. Next category is gonna be squat variations and lower body exercises. So when it comes to BJJ, since they don't have to have a certain squat to perform for a competition, because they can do whatever they want, I'm just in favor of whatever the athlete uh, can do comfortably and they enjoy as their squat. So an SSB is a really easy one just because it helps anybody who has any shoulder problems and it's more of a comfortable and simple squat to get into. I'm also a big fan of box squats, uh, just because it allows them to squat, say they're having some issues with mobility, uh, for whatever reason, they can easily squat to a box and allows them to work those muscles, be explosive out of the hole. Uh, so I like doing that. 
Now, if they want a high bar or low bar squat, that's totally fine too. It really doesn't matter much to me. Uh, but the main fact is, is finding them a squat variation that they can continue to use uh, that's going to only enhance the BJJ game and still allow them to train to the best of their ability. So on top of those squat exercises, something else I really like if you have access to would be a belt squat. So that is something that's going to be just like the reverse hyper and take off load from the spine, but allow you to put out a ton of power output uh, in your training and still work the legs. So if you have one of those, kudos, get on one, and that would be a great variation to help strengthen the legs. Now to add on top all those exercises, I really feel like lunge variations are great for BJJ athletes, as well as some single leg work. So single leg split squats, uh, et cetera. So if you're going for a takedown or trying to pass somebody's guard, just strengthening your legs as much as possible uh, is going to be fantastic. And those variations help mimic that in practical use. The next category is going to be carries. I'm a huge fan of carries. So if you guys have farmer handles or can do farmer walks, I would really recommend that just for building the traps, upper back, uh, the legs and grip strength as well. Uh, there's sandbag carries, there's overhead carries, there's single arm carries, you name it, but getting some sort of carry work in, is just going to be great and translate to the mat really well. Another category would be rotational work. So since jujitsu is so dynamic and you're rolling around, okay, you're gonna be doing tons of different rotational movements. So implementing that in your training is only gonna make you stronger, uh, especially if you're trying to do takedowns, right? Or you're fighting somebody standing up, uh, you wanna be able to have really strong rotational force and power. So I like doing med ball tosses, rotational ball slams, or even using a landmine and doing different landmine exercises. I did a whole video on landmines and uh, explosive work, rotational work, and I'll put that link right up here, so check that out. Uh, but I think those exercises will really help with the rotational game and strength. Just as a side note, uh, one of my favorite tools to have, and this has been a tool that I've used in training my entire life, uh, but I think it's great for wrestlers and BJJ, is sleds. Okay, so getting a sled, doing all different types of work. You can do strength work with it, you can be explosive, you can work on your conditioning, you name it. Sleds are just a, a very versatile tool that can be used to enhance uh, your BJJ game. So if you haven't done any sled work, make sure you do, and if you've been neglecting it, get back on it. All right, guys, so there you have it. Obviously, I listed a lot of exercises and kept it kind of general, but as you can see, it ha kind of has to be general. It's very uh, custom to each individual athlete, what they like and their preferences are, uh, and what's gonna help them become the best athlete as possible. So play around with it. If you haven't used some of the exercises that I mentioned, throw them into your programming and uh, just let me know how it works. But that is pretty much all that I have, guys. Uh, so stay a lean, mean, strength machine. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.